Good afternoon and welcome back to the farm. I'm hoping you're having a good time. I know I am. So, it's afternoon in January. I sold all the bales that I had. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to sell the lettuce and tomatoes. Um, because of the reasons. Let's see, we start with the um, tomatoes. So it's the other trailer. January is the best month to do this. So, we figured why not? Okay, off we go. Um, yeah, I made quite a good sales number on the, the silage. I made like 450,000 on that. And then the eggs that I sold earlier, um, canola oil, so it's all good. It's curious to see how much I get for the lettuce and tomatoes. We have a pretty full trailer of tomatoes, as you can see, 38,000 liters of it. Um, which is good. Sell it everything at the farmer's market. People in Elm Creek love fresh produce. And that's good, I like it too. It's nice. Um, and then I'm thinking about the, the cow pasture. I'm thinking I'm gonna get the field, I think it's field 48. Or is it 47? It's the, the small field just behind my farm. Um, that could be a good place for it. Another option is to get the, the field uh, up by the main road that is just next to me that you know I had issues in the earlier days with the fence being in the way. But if I get that property and then I um, just remove the house and the fence and I put my cow pasture there. Then I will have a somewhat easy access to get to the, to the feeding of it. And the field that comes with that area. Oh, engine is struggling here. Um, can then be... Um, planted on that field that it belongs to. I don't know, is it field 52? Something like that. Wait, this is... This is lettuce. This is the wrong place for lettuce. God damn it. I was supposed to sell these at the fast food restaurant. Maybe I should have checked before I drove all this way over here. I was confident that the yellow one was tomatoes. <laughs> no, it's not. It's yellow because of eggs. Oh well. Let's see. Um, fast food restaurant. Yeah, it's marked. Okay. Well, it's a little bit of a sightseeing ride in, isn't it? Sorry about that. Um, what we're talking about. Yeah, getting the... Um, buying that field on the main road next to our starting farm. Then I can plant like grass on that field that I can use for hay or um, TMRs, maybe. Don't know if one field is enough to maintain enough feed for the horses, uh, cows. I think it is. I hope it is. But, yeah. 
don't quite know yet. Time will tell. But in the meantime, I do have the... I don't really want to dig into the profit on the current field of grass that I have. So I'm thinking of buying one of the neighboring fields to my large grass field. And turn it into grass as well. Um, I need silage. Uh, hay. And don't know, do I need anything else? Yeah, I need one more thing to make. Well, I need three things to make the... TMR. Okay. And here we are, back at the farm. Let's just change this. There we go. Hoping on good numbers here. I forgot that in a row. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. So how much was that uh, sold? 130,000. That is a nice chunk of change. Just wish the sell point was easier to access. But, nope. It's not. Oh yeah, as you can see, I moved the beehives. And I added an extra one, so now I have four of them. Um, so I have spent a little bit of money. Just a little bit. Okay, let's... Give the farmer's market another try, shall we? And away 
here we go. So that's what we're going to do in January. We're going to sell all of this stuff. Um, I'm going to load up the wool that I have. Um, don't need to sell it until April. But I think in February or March it's time to sell the honey. So I need to load that up as well. I think I can load the honey in this one. Or the yellow trailer would maybe be a better option for that. Considering it's kind of the color of honey. Uh, we'll see, it's no rush. Oh, I forgot to check it's exactly how much of the lettuce we have. I think it was 39,000 liters. And it, it's a good price. I mean, over 100,000 on that. So I'm pleased. I think that maybe with the tomatoes here, we break a million. Even though I already spent some money um, on various things. Still hoping that this one will give us at least 94,000. Quick math would sort that out. Well, not that quick of a math, but math would sort that out before we get there. But I'm okay to wait until I get there. Need to make it up the hill. See, the engine is really beginning to struggle now. It's 90, 70, 101 percent. It's not good. It's a heavy load. Holy tomatoes. So where is the opening on this one? The left back. Okay, that works. Come on. Force. May not break the one million mark here on this one. It's getting get close though. Sixty eight thousand. Not bad. So let's just park about here for now. Close this up. Um, okay, we can look at the sales market as well. Um, not doing anything that has to do with wine. So this tractor, while powerful, it's not that powerful. This one, powerful, but not sure what I would specifically need it for. So let's check this other market here. Um, so what do we have? That one is in December, which we already sold 100,000 liters of. Oats, also December, they don't need to sell that. Sunflowers, I can sell these, but I don't want to. The soybeans, I'm going to sell in June. Um, then we have the wool in April. We don't have anything else here. Fabric in April as well. The honey in March. Yep, it's good. The sunflower oil in February. Don't have too much, so I may skip it this year. I'm waiting to get a bigger batch next year, or I'll just sell it. Doesn't matter. K 
canola we did sell in November, lettuce, tomatoes, yeah, and uh, that's about it. So what else is there to do today? Well, looking at the fields, um, see all of them has been harvested. This one is growing. I did plant something there then. These are growing. Six to eight is waiting. Um, all of them got weed on them. So what did I plant here? Did I plant canola? Is that canola? It is, isn't it? Huh, forgot about that. <laughs> anyway, so getting field 52, like this one, that means we get the house, we get a lot of space down here. And I use field 52 to make whatever I need for the cows. I can place the, the cow patty here or maybe down here. Getting this one as well. And I'm, I'm thinking of getting all these three here and turn this into one large field. This one, um, or maybe I just leave them like this. Maybe these three is enough to maintain the TMR. Doesn't say what it's needing for that, but this one does here on the animal. So you need a feed that we get from there. We need a uh, grass, silage, straw. Don't know. But yeah, we'll get those fields for that. So let's see. This one is 140. This one is 50, so that's 200. So that's another 200. Or not a hundred, so it will be about three hundred thousand to get all of these. But I don't know if they are big enough. This one seems big enough, so maybe I just get that one and this one. Possibly this one. So 140, 177. I want to combine this one as well. Mm. Not getting any fields yet though. I want to wait until One thing I could do is I could wait until I get whoever is owning the field now to plant something on it, then buy the field of them, off them, and then use that to. Um, then I don't have to plant anything. The drawback to that is that, of course, I would need to make do with whatever it is they planted. Instead of me deciding that, no, I'm going to be planting this on this field and this on this field. But I think we're in a position where we can afford to get the cows this year. Maybe we get the, the smallest one just to start out to see how it is. We can probably upgrade it later or replace it to the, the bigger one. I mean, as it is now, yes, we can afford the absolute biggest cow patty or cow shed there is. The one with automation to it. Just need to load up the raw resources and it will make take care of everything else for you. But that will give us another year of no cash. So what I intend of doing instead is sometime in spring... March, April or so, I will buy more uh, fields, possibly like I said, this field and some other fields, um, and look into more what it is that I need to do to um, make the TMRs, the machinery and the total cost of that, and then later on, once it's ready to harvest, I will um, get the cow pasture, so I'm ready for that. There we go. 23,000 liters 
of wool. Nice. And let's do the same with the honey. And I will show you another thing that I purchased, which um, is something I should have purchased in the beginning, but I didn't. Oops. Which way does this open? This open right front. I want it to be left front. Thinking of getting rid of the white trailer there. Um, having those things loaded up there is nice, but I'm just using way too much of certain things. So it's just a hassle to you know, buy four to six pallets of it and then throw it up there. So uh, here, you can see here on the left side, I got a bigger loading point for the honey, which is great. Is that all the honey? 12,800 liters worth. It's not bad. I will park this back here. Not really in a good position to to load it though. It's kind of a steep hill to here. Steep the hill to here. Maybe I can sort that out. Don't know. Let's fill this up with water, and I think we're done for today. Sold everything we could. This time. I, I do like that the prices are fluctuating. However, I do not like that they're fluctuating so much that at the end of the month, it says that now you get a better price next month and then next month roll around and it's like nah you should have sort of sold the previous month but you know sometimes you win sometimes you lose and i like to win i am kind of curious on how much the cows need in terms of TMR? I mean, how much TMR does one cow eat in a month? Because what I need to do is I need to make sure that I can produce enough to feed them. Because that's the point, to be as self-sufficient as possible when it comes to the cows or anything on the farm, basically. So, like, because of the large field of grass that I have, my chickens, well, sorry, my, my sheep are well off. They don't have to worry about anything because I produce enough grass to feed them as well as sell silage. Granted, once I get the cows, I need some of that silage to feed them. But if I take that from another field that I'm going to buy, then it doesn't dig into the profit. And I can also, instead of making two large bales every cutting, um, 
period on those that large field of grass that I have now to feed to the the sheep I can possibly take that from the other field don't know which is the best option I mean getting another field no matter what would possibly lead to a, a bigger profit in, in per year I think and that's all that I want bigger profits every year and that is what the poll also said you know get bigger and more fields so I may not get bigger fields all the time but I will get more fields uh, yeah I placed the beehives here first but I felt like they were kind of kind of blocking here I mean I can see that the the truck was able to go past anyway but it's better to have them a little bit off the road and I think that this is big enough to I think this one can hold like three pallets so that will keep me so I don't miss out on anything um, yeah I am in good spirits so getting field 52 gets me the farmhouse which I totally get rid of and then I guess we can go over there oh we can just do this cows um, so it's gonna take up that space if I get this one for 45 80 so the difference between these two is that this one has a feeding robot and it cost 200,000 more so you're just getting this one So I need to grass, haw, hay, TMR, I don't know. But it looks like this will eat up there. If I, on the other hand, place it here, this is where I get stuff as well. place it here and I can access it via that road from both sides I can't use the field but that's okay I guess how about the pigs maybe I should start with pigs because they eat pretty much anything and I can have 270 pigs here which will give me enough fertilizer that I wouldn't need to buy any question is do I produce enough food stuff for them and it's a smaller structure so even if I get this remove the building I can place this here and it wouldn't affect that field get rid of the fence get rid of the house can even have it in this direction then the field can be used here for I mean they, they eat pretty much anything so something that gives me a lot of produce how about the horses 14 horses on this one give me riding around Training horses. They need barley, sorghum, and grass. I don't know which which is the better option. Is it going? I mean, chicken is bees and chicken are very simple. Bees are the simplest. You just place it and that's it. Chicken just need to feed them some. Um, wheat barley or sorghum sheep just need to feed them grass P 
pigs seems to be the next option and then cows horses don't really give you any income you just have to train them and then you can sell them so I might skip that and I'm not keen on the dog so this one would be they need water as well which I have access to I will look into that actually I won't make any decision this month I'll think about it and make a decision later on but yeah I think that's it for this episode nothing else would happen um, like again I will sell some stuff in we can take a look at that in February let's move up um, I will yeah I, I will sell the sunflower oil I have it's not gonna be much in April like we said how are the milk it's in February 2000 per liter don't know if it's good um, soybeans in June don't sell those so not much left to sell so yeah I will end here and I will see you in the next episode I'm not sure what time of month that would be or time of year what the month would be but it's gonna be when a major decision is happening buying some fields buying some more animal pastures any of those things so until then have fun take care and please uh, like subscribe comment and i hope to see you next time bye bye